Yeah, so I wanted to talk today about doing a bolt circle pattern of holes with Katia. So what I have here is a simple pad that's been extruded. It can be a revolved feature as well. It doesn't matter. So what a bolt circle pattern is, is a pattern of holes that go around. Usually a flange like this um, has a certain number of holes. Typically they're evenly spaced. So I wanted to talk about um, how I like to lay them out and how I expect my students uh, to approach the use of a bolt circle pattern. So I'm going to put a hole in. And I'm going to go into the positioning sketch of the hole. And I'm going to lay out what I refer to as a radial placed hole. So what is a radial placed hole? That's a hole that's at a distance from an axis and then at an angle to some reference plane. So uh, as I'm in the positioning sketch of the hole, I'm going to put in what I refer to or what is referred to as a bolt circle diameter. So I'm going to pop over here to wireframe so you can see this a little better. Uh, I'm in the sketching environment of the hole, so the any geometry I sketch will be construction geometry. So I go to the circle tool and I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, so that's the bolt circle. And the bolt circle diameter is going to be the diameter of that bolt circle. So let's say I call it 125 millimeters. So that's the bolt circle diameter. So I want to lay in another construction line. And so that represents an angle or could represent a line that I can use to measure an angle to a reference plane. Now, keep in mind that typically it's satisfactory just to constrain the bolt circle uh, straight above the vertical axis or aligned with the horizontal axis. But I typically want my students to go a step further and add some uh, dimensional constraints to this that can be updated later if necessary. So I've got the bolt circle diameter, bolt circle center line, if you will, eventually on um, this is going to be a bolt circle center line and this, which is going to serve as an angular reference. So I can put in an angular constraint and let's call this 30 degrees. You can make it zero too if you wanted it to be straight vertical, which is fine. It just depends on your design intent, what the hole patterns eventually going to look like. This could just be a standalone hole as well. So this is how I would do a, a radial placed hole that's all by itself. But it is, notice it's green and I require my students in most cases, especially beginning students to have fully constrained sketches unless I say otherwise. And I get a lot of students that will do a bullet circle pattern and they have will have a white sketch, which is the reason why I'm doing this video is so they can see again how I go about constraining and making sure my bolt circle pattern, the hole for the original instance of the bolt circle pattern is green. So again, this is one way that I do it. Another way is sometimes I just don't even put the 30 degree and I'll just constrain it straight vertical. But this bolt circle diameter is very, very important for locating um, the hole out from the center axis. So that's it as far as constraining the hole. I'm going to get out of the sketch. Let's set some dimensionals here. So I'll put 25 millimeters and I'll do it up to last as the hole depth. So that's my first hole. I'm going to go back to shaded mode and let's create the pattern. And the pattern is simple. It's a circular pattern in Katia. And so let me select the hole for pattern and then locate the pattern tool on the transformations toolbar. I'm going to drag this out. And so the hole is pre-selected. Hole is pre-selected. I like to do complete crown. Let's go with six instances just for an example. So complete crown will assume a total angle of 360 
and so the number of instances is six uh, reference direction I try to avoid selecting topological features uh, but you could pick the circular edge is one option you can pick this cylindrical face that will work as well if I had a center axis I could pick it if I had an axis system which I typically would have an axis system if I'm doing this in more advanced classes I would have an axis system but I think I can get away here with just doing the z-axis so right click in the box do a z-axis that serves as my axis of revolution and simple bolt circle pattern fully constrained